hosts delivering a block of one life next. Monday through Friday's episodes in a row. SoapNet, the new way to watch soaps. Well, I called Cassie in Savannah, and she said that Jack and Star are doing really well. Blair, uh, honey, you want to tell me why you decided uh, to take off for St. Bart's? Doesn't seem like kind of strange timing. Uh-huh. Right. Fine. Kick some sand in Todd's face for me. Uh -huh. Hey, Dorian. RJ, hello. Would you like a drink? It's on the house. No, thank you. It's a bit early in the day for me. <laughs> you seem in a very good mood this afternoon. Well, that's because Jamie is staying with me for a while. Perhaps permanently. What? Antonio's allowing that. No, no. Antonio doesn't allow me anything. But it was his idea. You see, I guess his life is going down the drain. <laughs> No, wait a minute. Antonio. I know, I know, I know. Carlotta is practically family. I mean, you all but fed and clothed the brothers Vega when they were pobre niños. Please spare me. <laughs> I'm having a hard time seeing you as the uh, full time doting grandpa. Oh. I'm a quick study. <laughs> but don't worry, I will not lose my edge. Oh, I'm sure you won't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Hello, Looker. Hi, sweetheart. Hello. Oh, Kelly. Oh, it's so good to see you. Oh, Dorian, thank you so much. David told me that it was all because of you that I get to see Ace. I can't tell you what that means to me. Well, I'm just so sorry that it's so little time and so much supervision. Oh, who cares? I get to see my son. The first time in weeks, the ache inside me feels like it's disappearing. I wish I'd been able to go with you. Yeah, I'd work at the hospital. And David went with me. He was incredible. Oh. Well, Kevin wanted to reschedule my visit when we first got there, and David stood up to him. He said that I had to see my son. He demanded it. Just looking after my girls. You are an amazement. You haven't seen nothing yet. Mmm, can't wait. Truly, though, y y you are always there for your girls. See, no matter who we have to fight against, even the Buchanans. Hmm. So, I say it's time. Oh, yeah. It's time we gave those Buchanans a real run for their money. Is there any news on Grandpa? Well, I've got uh, Lantano County covered, uh, most of the three surrounding counties. Uh, I've called uh, the Atlantic City PD, Philadelphia PD. So far, nothing. Yeah, we had some guys uh, look up at the ranch at the Mountain Lodge, and there's nothing there either. We got through to his compound on St. Blaze's Island. Nothing there either. How can he have just vanished? I think he's laying low right now. He's trying to figure out his next move against Todd and Blair. So he won't stop until he's sure that they can't take his mansion. I think something has happened to him. Asa could be in some kind of trouble, and he needs our help. I swear, I get my hands on that Manning that she's ever Blair. I swear, I'm gonna kill him. Damn mosquitoes. Who's there? Yeah, Ray Castillo, please. Thanks. Ray, Johnny Mac. Yeah, it's been a long time. How are you? How are the kids? Okay, kid. Hey, Ray, why the hell is the FBI working on the Isabella Santi case? No, an agent just ran a block on a caller I had, a local guy named uh, Antonio Vega. No, he took him right out of my hands, man. Well, how'd the Bureau even know about it? Ray, 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 come on. Someone there's got an interest in uh, Antonio Vega. Who is it? I'm not going any further until you tell me what the hell is going on. Now, what the hell happened back there? 
Well, one thing that happened is I just saved your butt from going to jail. How did you even know where I was? John came by Lionsheart. He told me he was going to bring you in for questioning about Angelina's death. Yeah, so he to told me. Fast. He told me about the supposed eyewitness. Eduardo Roca. He's been with Tico for years. He said I had something to do with my mother's death. He claims he was standing in the doorway and saw you push Angelina and cause her to fall on the glass. Tico put him up to it. Looks like my brand new brother's trying to get me out of the way. Maybe for good this time. Tico, what are you talking about? Antonio, he didn't kill your mother. I didn't want to be the one to tell you that. Ta wanted... Tell me what? Do you remember when I told you Antonio snuck into Lion's Heart the other day? Well, apparently he was with our mother just before she died. They had a no. horrible fight. Jessica, no. a staff no. witnessed everything. He's already given a statement to the police. I don't care who this staff member was, and I don't care what he witnessed, okay? He's wrong. He misinterpreted everything that he saw. Antonio would not hurt anybody, ever. Antonio was angry. He was confused. He had just learned that Angelina was Isabella Santi. He felt betrayed. He... <sighs> Look. It may not have been intentional, but he did it, Jessica. Antonio killed my mother. You don't know. You don't know who the hell you're dealing with. I've killed mountain lions with with nothing but my my hunting knife. Ha <laughs> ha! But now I got a gun. I got a gun, and I'll I'll blow you to kingdom come. Show your face or say your prayers. One, two. Don't shoot, Mister. We'll find Pa. Look, I, I know if he's in some kind of a, tr a trouble, he's going to figure out a way to get out of it. Grandpa's always been able to take care of himself for now. That was in the past, but everything has changed. We've all seen that, Kevin. He's become forgetful and erratic. You have his power of attorney because he refuses medical help that the judge ordered. I thought he was faking that so he could get out of trouble for pulling that gun on a reporter. No, it hasn't gotten any better, Bo. A while ago, he claimed that there was a wolf on the property, and he went looking for him with his shotgun. And that is how he hurt his leg. Yeah, and then he said the wolf was calling him on the telephone, taunting him. It's, uh... I know something terrible has happened. I just feel it. Did you say one of the security guards saw Blair at pause yesterday? Twice. She was there the first time with Todd, and then she was there by herself. Mm -hmm. And no one's seen Grandpa since then. They claim they have no idea where he went. And you think Todd would tell the truth? Or Blair? Right. I'm sorry. I didn't no, it's OK. It's OK. Anything? You got a minute? Yeah. Excuse me. I didn't interrupt, but uh, you want me to tell you, the Fed just pulled rank again in the Santi case. That's a local death. Why are they so interested? Don't know. But they took uh, Antonio into custody. Look, I, uh, I called in a favor with a contact of mine at the Bureau, a guy named Castillo. He's going to look into it. But whatever this is, Bo, it's got everything to do with Sonia Toledo. Tico swears he had nothing to do with Eduardo's statement. Of course he did. Antonio, Tico is not trying to get rid of you. You're both still grieving. Can't you cut each other a little Sonia, slack? Eduardo works for Tico. He wouldn't lie unless Tico told him to. Antonio. Look, I didn't push down Isabel. I would never lay a hand on her. I would never do something like that. I know that. I believe you. Why do you think I'm working so fast here? I can't find El Tiburon with you rotting away in a jail cell somewhere. All right. Okay, maybe maybe you're right, all right? Maybe Tico didn't have anything to do with it. Maybe, maybe it was El Tiburon or someone who works for him. Well, I doubt it, but I guess we have to start somewhere. What about, uh, uh, this, uh, the, Sara Fernandez? 
Mm, the woman used to manage the hookup? Yeah, she always she always acted like she knew a little more than she was saying. Maybe she could tell us something about a tiburon. Well, she was a smart woman. She was a go-getter, but I think a connection to a tiburon would sort Look, of get stretched. You're the one who said we need to start somewhere, right? Okay. I didn't even know where to find her. She she, she gave me her cell phone a while back. Really? You kept it? Yeah. It's in a book. Somewhere in my loft. But I can't go back there. Are you afraid you're gonna run into Jessica? What the hell is that supposed to mean? Nothing. I just saw her earlier. She seemed pretty upset. We broke up. I moved out. I'm sorry to hear that. But it looks like if you're gonna find Sada, you're gonna have to go back to your place and face Jessica. Tico, I'm sorry about your mother. I know this must be terrible for you. But Antonio had nothing, nothing to do with it. Whatever that witness saw, whatever he thought that he saw, they were wrong. Antonio would never hit or push a woman ever, ever. Jessica, I, I read about the investigation into Jamie's mother's death. Antonio was overheard in a violent argument with her the night that she died. Oh, there's a lot you don't know about Carrie Reynolds. Well, from what I read, Antonio knocked her to the ground during that argument, which is no different than what happened to no, my mother. No, you're wrong. Carrie committed suicide. She was sick. Antonio, all, all that he ever tried to do was help that girl. Look, I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to suggest otherwise. It's just that in the little time that I've known Antonio, he... Well, his temper can be very explosive, you know? Like, from what I've been told, like, like our fathers. Antonio is nothing like Manuel Santi. How can you be so sure? It's possible that Antonio is like our father in more ways than any no, of us realize. No, 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 he's not. You know, perhaps you were lucky to get away from him when you did. Stop it. Shut up. You don't know anything about Antonio and me. I'm making serious progress on the money pawn I owe you. I don't have anywhere near a hundred grand. Look, I am it... finished waiting for you idiots. Get me my money. All of it. How am I supposed to come up with that kind of cash? That's not my problem. Come on, RJ, it's not even my fault the heist got screwed up. Paul's the one to blame. Well, once again, it's not my problem. It is yours. So you fix it, okay? Or that beating you took will be shot soup compared to what's coming. Hey, what's going on? You take my breath away. So apparently, Blair and Todd decided to take some sort of impromptu vacation in St. Bart's while Star and Jack were in Savannah with Cassie. Where did they get the money? I thought Asa froze their assets until the lawsuit over the mansion was complete. I know, and apparently Asa still has possession of the house. Well, it's not like either one of them to leave town and give Asa the upper hand. Don't you? We didn't do anything wrong. <sighs> why, why were you guys sneaking up on me? We heard branches breaking. We thought you were a deer. We're real sorry, mister. Don't kill us. You just relax, boys. Put your hands down. Nobody's gonna get killed. I was bluffing. I don't even have a gun. Are you a group leader? A what? We're in Fire Scout Troop 4504. What troop are you with? Troop? How the hell do you get out of here? You ever heard of that one? Mm -hmm. Are you lost, mister? Ace of Buchanan never gets lost. It's just that I don't exactly know where I am at this moment. Now, you two, you two have a, a group leader, right? Mr. Phipps is our scoutmaster. He's way, way over there. Somewhere. We're earning our survival badges. I tell you what, boys, I'm gonna make sure you get your badges. Cool. Take me to your leader. OK. Come on. Oh, look, it's 
really late. Listen, I've got a meeting schedule. No, uh, 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 go. No, no, listen. I don't want to leave you here by yourself. No, Let no, me no. Drive you home. Go, please. I will be fine. Your grandpa would string me up by my thumbs if he thought I was keeping you Are from you being Are you sure you're going to be yes, okay? I will be fine. Thank you. All right. Well, let me know if you hear anything. Darling, thank you for all, all your support. Hey. Are you okay uh, handling this whole Sonia thing? Because I've got to concentrate on finding my father right now. I understand. I think i got it covered. Okay. Brief me as soon as uh, you talk to your friend. Okay? I will. Well, hopefully Castillo will come clean. I I trust them. They're not backing us off this one, Bo. Why don't you wait here? Sure. Uh, Antonio, I, I'm not here to make things more difficult for you or for Jessica. I'm sorry if I overstepped my bounds. I know how much you and Antonio cared or one another, and probably still do. It's just that I can't help but feel protective of you. You saved me from dying in that vault in Puerto Rico. I owe you my life. No. No, you don't. Yes, I do. And for that, I will always be grateful. I don't need protecting from Antonio. And I think that it's probably best if you stay out of things between us right now, you know? Of course. Okay. Antonio. RJ and I were just talking business. Everything's cool. Looked pretty intense, almost like you were threatening him. Wow, Rex, how do you do it? I mean, chicks just lining up to save your butt. <laughs> to Todd and Blair being out of town. I do miss Blair at Craze. Although most of the good ideas are mine. I don't miss Todd staring over my shoulder every 15 minutes telling me what I'm doing wrong. He better bring her back in time for the ball. That's all I can say, because I am, after all, the co-chair. Mm. And it would be very embarrassing if all my Kramer girls weren't there. Oh, well, we do not want you to be embarrassed. Not in front of Gus. Humanitarian extraordinaire, the patron saint of Santi. Pray for us in our hour of greed. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kelly, it's certainly good to see you laughing. Yeah. It's been a long time. It feels good. It really does. You're lucky to have a guy like David in your life. I'll drink to that. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll keep him. <laughs> Kevin is meeting with William Dawes? Wouldn't be the first time. He hates that guy. He used to go on and on and on about how he was lying in his pockets with special interests and how he had all these big business cronies. It's probably the main reason why I resigned as lieutenant governor. It's a safe bet. They're not discussing ethics and idealism in politics. <laughs> You're probably right. <laughs> It's just a rattler. Back home in Texas, we had plenty of them when I was your age. Nothing to be scared of, nothing to be scared of. Just let them know who's boss. Just let them know who's boss. Well, that's all settled. Let's get going. Hey! Where'd y'all go? Hey, hey, hey. It's gonna be okay. I'm sorry, Bo. I'm just, I'm just so scared. I, uh, I think something terrible. Your pa... Your pa and I are happy. 
<laughs> you believe that? I mean, I am not going to marry him for the third time, finally, and lose him now. No, no, hey, you're not going to lose him, okay? None of us are. What would the Buchanan family be like without him? Oh. <laughs> We've already had two funerals for the man. Mm -hmm. He survived both of them. Yeah, you're right. It's just the waiting and the waiting to hear from him. It's driving me crazy. I'll tell you what, why don't you go home now, get some rest, because I have an idea how to find Pa. You do? Yeah. And then I'll swing by afterwards. I'll uh, check on you. I don't know what I'd do without him, Bo. Well, you don't have to worry. You're never gonna find out. <laughs> Ray, hey, thanks oh, for coming, man. I appreciate it. Well, you and I go way back. I mean, what's favors amongst friends? I know, I, uh, I owe you one. Look, I know you don't have a lot of time. What do you got from me? Oh, sorry to say nothing much. I mean, whatever's going on is deep undercover. No information's being passed. I think quite possibly the I and L's involved. So now we're talking about international carnage and law enforcement. Also part of the State Department. Well, they got agents embedded all over the world. When a call comes into the Bureau, total cooperation, Attorney General's standing orders. What makes you think it's INL? Well, I didn't say that it is. It's just that that, um, that Antonio Vega, mm -hmm. I mean, he got arrested by an agent named Jeff Cox, who's been with the agency since 98, and he's got strong ties to the INL. <sighs> that certainly explain why I keep hitting these brick walls. So, uh... Where's this uh, Toledo woman from? She says Spain, maybe Puerto Rico. Uh, well, the I and L's got uh, connections all over the place. I mean, uh, they start off in Middle East, Latin America, East Asia. Places where drugs are grown and processed. They got agents deep into the families that distribute the stuff. Like the Santis. Like the Santis. And like I said, I can't guarantee anything. If you're right, she's using a friend of mine to do all her dirty work. What are you doing here? You seem to think that we had nothing left to say to each other. I thought I told you to stay away from him. Why did you do it? Why did you have your servant lie for you, telling the cops I had something to do with our mother's death? I didn't put Eduardo up to anything. And why are you lying to me now? Leave him alone, Angela. Stay out of this, Jess. Can... Jessica, Jess, I'm sorry. Don't touch me. Look, I didn't mean to. What are you doing here anyway? If you wanted to talk to me, why didn't you just call? I came to get my address book. Oh, right. Right. God, I'm such an idiot. I, I was under the impression that maybe you came by to try to work things out with me. Jess. Let me guess, Antonio. You've misplaced Sonia's address and private number, right? Is she with you? Oh, my God. Just get where you came for and leave. Yes, you Just get out! What are you doing here, anyway? Besides looking hot. Looking for you? Yeah? Why do you want to see me? Because I like you. I care about you. So tell me what's going on with RJ. Word has it that the current lieutenant governor had to step down due to health reasons. Oh, baby. When they step down for health reasons, they're usually covering a money or a sex scandal. My bet is on sex. So, Kevin is definitely in as the new replacement. <laughs> I'm glad you figured out you have to play hardball if you want to survive in politics. And, of course, you got to play uh, 
major league hardball if you want to do more than just survive. Well, hardball's become a specialty of mine. Kevin even believes that Dawes is responsible for the chandelier falling last year and almost killing me. Now he's cozying up to him. Hey, if it's Dawes, it's big. If it's big, they'll get away with it. And if they get away with it, the federal government's involved. Look at Washington. I know. This could be our chance. We should grab it, really. If we could get enough dirt on Kevin, we might even be able to get Ace back. I can't believe this. I can't believe that he brought Sonia here with him. Are you sure you're all right? Because when he knocked you down no, on the ground, I'm... No, fine. I'm... He didn't knock me down to the ground, Tico. It was an accident. I lost my balance. Yeah, an accident, or worse, is what killed my mother. Look, I promised I wasn't gonna bring up Antonio. I'm sorry, okay? Okay. I miss that smile of yours. Where is it? Come on. I know it's in there. That's a start. You know, if I put my mind to it, I'll bet I can get an even bigger smile out of you at my charity gala. Oh. Tico, I have some bad news. I'm, with all that's been going on, I totally forgot to tell you that my mom, oh, she's not gonna be able to make it. Oh. She's not sick, is she? No, 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 nothing like that, not at have all. Have I offended her no. in any way? Tico, no, it's, um, it's this major donor's banquet. It was supposed to be next month. It got pushed forward. She can't get out of it. She's the keynote speaker. She's really sorry. I'm really, really sorry. No, I... It's okay. I understand. Although I am disappointed. You're still going to attend, won't you? As your mother's representative? Or at least as my friend. It would be an honor if you came to the gala with me as my guest. Antonio, I am so sorry. I had no idea Tico would be there. Jessica's spending more and more time with him. I don't like it. Tico had nothing to do with Eduardo claiming that he saw you push Angelina. In the letter my mother wrote, she asked me to forgive Tico. Now, if he's tied she to just, it, don't... She just meant to forgive him for not telling you the truth about your parents. That's all it could possibly no, have been. No, no, it's not. Antonio! Tico is not responsible for Eduardo lying, and he's not connected to El Tiburon. Okay, I know him. I know him better than you do, and I love him. We'll find El Tiburon. And I'm gonna prove it. That him? Yeah. Eduardo? Senor? I'm Antonio Vega. I know. Why did you lie to the police? Why did you tell him you saw me push Isabella? Isabella? That's Angelina's real name, Isabella Santi. I don't know nothing about that. I saw you in Angelina's room. You were very angry, out of control. Eduardo, it's not very smart to keep lying to me. Now who put you up to it? Was it Tico? Do you really think that we could get Ace back? I mean, I will find out what Kevin and Dawes are up to. I'll do anything. Wait, now, s slow down, Kelly. You don't want to get into another situation like you had this morning when you had to give Ace back. Damn. What happened? Well, Kelly had a... It wasn't a big deal, but it was a bit of a time when she had to hand Ace over to Kevin. It was difficult. I was having to say goodbye to my son. I, thank God David was there. I mean, that's the only reason why I was able to do it. You wouldn't have had to go through that, and you wouldn't have had to... If it weren't for that maniac, Kevin. I mean, I just wish every one of those Buchanans would disappear off the face of the earth. That's <laughs> fine to me. Is that a fact, Dorian? You know, it's funny because I have the feeling that uh, one of the Kramers already put that plan into action. For a while now, I've known Sonia was connected to the feds. I was thinking INL myself. Well, I'll see what I can find out. But if this uh, Toledo woman is working for the FBI or the INL, I'll tell you right now, my pull isn't that strong. I know, but I appreciate everything you're doing, right? Hey, John, well, one friend to another. I mean, if the Bureau's protecting this woman for whatever reason, and they find out you're investigating, 
I mean, you're looking for a, a lot of trouble here. Answer my question. <sighs> Senor Sante did not put me up to do anything. That's not the answer I was looking for. Now, you and I both know I had nothing to do with pushing Senora, Isabella. Por favor, she can't help you now. This is between you and me. I... I may have been confused. It's possible that I, I misunderstood that... that I didn't see you push Miss Angelina. Either you saw it or you didn't. It's pretty simple. Look at me. It was Tico, wasn't it? He told you to lie. I guess you could say I'm in a little bit of trouble with RJ. I owe money because of somebody else's screw up. It's totally bogus, but I will take care of it. You sure? All right. I don't want anything to happen to you. Well, don't worry. I've got enough problems. Is the love uh, crew still on your back? Well, I mean, they still think I'm vandalizing the site, but they have no proof. There's nothing they can do about it. So you want to come over later? Yeah, sure. You and me, we're still in the down low, right? Well, it's not like I run around talking about it. Yeah. See you at the shack. Where are Todd and Blair? Why do you ask? My father's missing, Dorian, and I'd like to know whether either one of them have any idea where he is. Please. Oh, did you try Disney World? I hear he's got a thing for the teacups. <laughs> Shut up, Vickers. Uh, Blair told me that the police questioned them, her and Todd, and they said that the last time they saw Asa was at Asa's former home. It's a big house. Did you check all of the rooms? <laughs> I'm gonna ask this question one more time. Where are Todd and Blair? Huh? If any one of the three of you are withholding information, I'll arrest all three of you for obstruction of justice. You, gutless, lily-livid, rotten brats, who the hell needs you? I'll find my own way out of these damn woods. So you don't know anything, that's right, Blair, huh? Well, thank you so much. Better hope that Blair's telling the truth, because I'm gonna find my father, and God help her or Manning if they have anything to do with his disappearance. I talk to you about something. It's important. I'm listening. I can prove Antonio didn't kill Isabella Santi. Antonio Vega? Who the hell are you? Sada sent me. Why didn't she come herself? She's gone, left town. But she told me to tell you to ask a man named Benicio about the identity of El Tiburon. He'll know. What do you say? Will you be my date for the gala? I can't be with you, Jess. No. I don't know who I am anymore or where I'm gonna be. And I can't guarantee you that it's not gonna be someplace really ugly. This isn't my life anymore. I, I, I can't be around this. 
or you can't be around me. Where I'm going, I have to go alone. I waited for the last time. <laughs> Antonio, if you walk out that door right now, it's over. I'll go. I'll be your date for the gala. I can't think of anything else that I'd rather do. You won't regret it. I promise. Stay tuned for scenes from the next One Life to Live. The next One Life to Live. Maybe you were just keeping me around because you couldn't have a bang. So why'd you tell me Antonio pushed her down? Who put you up to this? If you know where Antonio is, can you tell me? Tico is not up to the room. There is no proof. I'm gonna get you some. Save your Sunday nights for Salem. Watch this week's day's episode starting at 7, only on SoapNet.